Welcome to the module 1 of day 6. The module 1 talks about the basics of English language and today we are going to talk about the common trees that we see around, the flowers and the fruits to enhance our vocabulary. Let's do it together. The plants first. The picture that you could see on your left is the banyan tree, which is a very, very common tree that you could see, but a vriksha. The picture on your right is called as the bale tree, which is called as bale in the Indian language as well. The picture on your left is papaya, papaya. Yes, the name remains the same in Hindi as well as Marathi. It's papaya. The picture to your right is called as gooseberry. Did you identify what this plant is? Okay, very good. Yes, gooseberry is aula. Aula. It's called gooseberry. The picture on your left, yes, all of us in Nande district should be identifying it right. It is banana, plantain, banana, kelitsadzhad. That's right. The picture on your right is called as Ashok tree. Ashok, Ashok. This is called in Hindi and Marathi as Asoka Tadzhar. Here's the picture in front of you is the peepal tree. Peepal, peepal, the holiest of all the trees. And the next is the very important medicinal plant, the neem tree. Kadulimba, the neem tree. Did you identify these two plants? Yes, on your left is goa tree. Goa, Goa. It is also pronounced as Guava, Guava. But I would like to pronounce it as Goa because my teachers taught me so. The next is, of course, as you could see the fruits, the apple tree, the apple tree. As the fruit or maybe the a vegetable is hanging down. Yes, it is a mango tree. Mango. Look at the leaves. Try to identify the leaves and identify the plant actually in your vicinity. That is the purpose of introducing plants and trees to you in this section. The picture that is on your right, yes, that is the normal tulas. It's called a sacred basil. Sacred basil, which so very commonly occur in Arkanarayan's stories. To listen. Did you identify this? Yes, it is mimosa plant. Mimosa, normally called as Gulmohar, which is so beautiful, especially in this season. Gulmohar, mimosa. The picture on your right. Did you ever see this? Yes, it's a very commonly occurring plant in India called as Sita Ashoka. Sita Ashoka. Ashopalav is the name of it. Ashopalav. This comes in orange color, yellow color, and red color. All the three are present in my house. Did you see this? Yes, these are the flowers that Lord Shiva loves. Plumeria. Plumaria is the name of it. Plumaria. Do you know this? Normally we call the flowers and plant that you could see on your right side as sky jasmine because from top they keep on hanging. We tend to make long chains of flowers when they fall down. Did you all do that in your childhood? Yes. It is a typical Indian cork or sky jasmine which is called as Millingtonia. In English, Melanctonia. Remember it as Kai Jasmine. Kai Jasmine. Melanctonia. Do you know this? You find it in ample in the forest. 
Normally, they are called as the flame of the forest. Oh, it's completely reddish or orangish throughout with a number of trees together. Flame of the forest. Normally, they are called as palash. Palash. In Hindi, it's also called as sapka kaliya. I was so surprised to listen to this name, but it's called as sapka kaliya. I know it as palash or the flame of the forest. Do you know the picture that is there on your right side? Yes, they are the bells, yellow bells, yellow bells. They are also called as trumpet flowers, trumpet flowers. Normally, you could find bells in orange color, orange bells, yellow color, as you could see in the picture, yellow bells, or also blue bells. I myself have yellow bells and orange bells in my house. Some common trees that are given to you, which normally are reflected in poetry by the English writers are, the first plant is called as birch, birches. Poplar is the second. Elm trees, E-L-M, elm trees, which you normally find, find in the romantic poetry. Chestnut is the next picture. Pines, oaks and pines are very, very commonly found in all the romantic poetry. Pine trees which are very long and tall. Spruce. Spruce is the next one. Willow. W-I-L-L-O-W. -L -L willow trees are very commonly found in American poetry. Birches, willows are very commonly found in American uh, poets and poetry. The next picture is palm tree. Palm. The Arabic plant typically. Maple is the next. Maple also is a tree that you could find in most of the romantic poetry. Sida. Sida press. Sida. Apple trees. Sida. Oak. As I said, oak, pine, elm, birch. These are very commonly found in poetry. The last one is linden. Linden. See this? Beech tree, birch tree, ebony tree. Oak tree, maple tree, date palm, diodar, Indian tree, diodar, ash tree, American, elm, American, banyan, cherry, cypress, cypress, and bebep, bebep. It is fun to identify the trees and name them. That is how you actually learn. We have been used to traveling. Whenever we are traveling, we had a thing of naming the trees. And the moment you stop getting the name of the tree, you lose it. And the opposite person takes it over. And he or she who is sitting opposite to you in your train or bus has to name the trees that we are passing by. That is one beautiful way in which we can identify the tree, we can name the tree. And for us, where we are with three languages, we have to know the name of the tree in English, in Hindi and Marathi for a proper expression. All these pictures are from free images and free pics. The next that we go is to the flowers. Oh, flowers become the most beautiful part of our life because they fill us with joy. That is one of the reasons why we love to be in the garden with the flowers. We tend to give flowers to others and express our feelings because the colors and the shapes and the touch talk much more and express our feelings from within. Let's see some common flowers. The very first one, yes, it is a rose. A rose is a rose is a rose is a rose. Yes, it's a beautiful rose and the color of the rose is so attractive. This is actually the color of the rose. The rest, the, right, the red one, the pink one and the white one are the basic flowers among roses. The rest are all hybrids. Rose. A rose that is called by any other name still smells as sweet as it is. Who says that? Yes, it is from Shakespeare's drama. The next picture that you could see in uh, the slide is hibiscus. This is a very, very common flower that you could find in India, hibiscus. 
हायबिस्कस हायबिस्कस इज कॉल्ड एज जास्वंत इन मराठी जास्वंत इट्स व्हेरी कॉमन एंड टकर्स इन मेनी मेनी कलर्स लाइक व्हाइट लाइक रेड लाइक ऑरेंज लाइक वेरी क्लोज्ड और फाइव पेटल्ड व्हिच आर वेरी फ्री पिंक रेड एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन फ्लावर विथ व्हिच वी वर्शिप गॉड द नेक्स्ट इज कॉल्ड एज marigold yes these are so beautiful flowers marigold in their beautiful yellows oranges and sometimes dark red do you identify yes three types of marigolds are available this is a typical orangish and yellow marigold marigold is called as genda gende ke phool in hindi and jhandu in marathi The next one that you could find is yes, the lotus flower, which is the national flower of India. Lotus, lotus, lotus is the Kamal ka phool in Hindi and Kamal in Marathi. The flower that you could see on your left is yes, it is a sunflower. Sunflower. a typical yellow flower that moves along with the sun from the east to the west is sunflower it's called in hindi as surajmukhi surajmukhi and in marathi it is called as surya phool the flower that you could find on your um, right is called as champak 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 is a very fragrant flower Uh, which is normally called in marathi and hindi as champa this occurs in two colors one is this soft uh, velvety yellow color and the other is a bit strong and hard green champak both the flowers have much fragrance and it's a coincidence that with the trees of champak you could find snakes also inhabiting thereby you know having a an idea maybe false that snakes can smell and the snakes live with the trees of champak and mug and so on champak we stayed in vizag and in vishakhapatnam you could find hundreds and hundreds of champak flowers both green as well as yellow giving you a pleasant fragrance which exhilarates your mind and heart champak the flowers that you could see on your left is jasmine jasmines are <clears throat> white in color and has got extreme fragrance the fragrance of jasmine is so good that <clears throat> uh, the the garlands that are made of jasmines are normally worn by women in south india especially and also gods are decorated with jasmines chameli chameli is the marathi as well as the hindi name of jasmine the one that you could see on your right is what is called as dahlia 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 we stayed in calcutta and in calcutta the gardens in our colony were completely fenced with different colored dahlias and zinnias dahlias are so beautiful flowers which occur in multiple colors the pinks and the violets and the yellows and the reds and the whites and so on and so forth and they've got so thick petals that they looks very beautiful when you find them in the garden dahlias are called as dahlia in um, hindi as well as in marathi dahlias the next flower that you could find there is zerbera zerbera the zerberas also as dahlias come you could find in different colors and these zerberas fill the nanded market uh, especially in this season after the rains they are so beautiful flowers so delicate so excellent and so multicolored that they fill your heart with real joy zerbera the flowers that you could find on to your right which are yellow colored cup shaped small flowers yes you have identified them right as wordsworth says yellow colored cup shaped and no small flowers that you could find very commonly in the cold countries are daffodils you don't find normally daffodils in our areas but in the cold countries you could find ample of daffodils 
The picture that you could see on your left is what is called as gladioles. Gladioles. Gladioles, as they are called as gladioles in Hindi as well as in Marathi, they also come in different colors. The yellows and the oranges and the pinks and the purples and the reds and the whites. Actually, they are bunches of flowers. Inflorescence, as they are called, they are bunches of flowers. And normally, these flowers keep blooming from bottom. So from the bottom of the bunch, you could find the flowers that are already bloomed. And as you go to the top of the bunch, you could find still they are in the bud shape. In the picture also, wantedly, I have put it in that way so that you would understand how these beautiful bunches look. Gladioles. The next picture that you could find on your right is called as orchid. Orchid. The orchids are very commonly found um, in the orchard. And much poetry has been written on orchids. Orchids also are multicolored flowers, which you could find in almost all the colors. They are also in inflorescence. They are also in bunches. And these really fill our heart. Whenever you go to an orchard full of orchids, it really fills your heart with joy. Orchid. They are also called as orchid in Hindi as well as in Marathi. The next flowers that you could find is, yes, you have rightly identified. They are tulips. Tulips. In Hindi and Marathi also we call them as tulips. And these also are found in multicolored. Normally the tulip gardens, if you have seen, uh, maybe in pictures or maybe in films, you could find that uh, each colored tulip flowers are in groups and in rows. So the red row, red tulips, a row of yellow tulips, a row of orange tulips, a row of white tulips, a row of purple tulips. Oh, they fill your joy. They fill your heart with joy and joy, as Wordsworth says. Tulips. The next flower that I have included in your right side is Vinca rosia. It's a very, very commonly found flower in India on the, on the sides of the roads and in gardens and as well as in temples. Vinca rosia. This is a very beautiful flower that the botanists normally, the moment I remember uh, I see Vinca rosia, I remember my botany practicals in my graduation program. This is a typical flower along with hibiscus that you normally take for dissecting it and understanding the petals and sepals and andresium and gynesium and so on and so forth. Vinca rosia. All these flowers are free images and free pics that I have taken from the website. And then we come down to the next part, which is called as the fruits. Yes, it is the fruits that we go down to. I understand that many of the fruits uh, we know are very common. So I try to include some uncommon fruits to us, which are as well available in the Nanded market, so that we can get acquainted with it. Yes, of course, these two are very common. It's banana. Banana. Banana is also called as plantain. Banana, the normal kela or keli. Right? Kela it is in Hindi and keli in, keli in Marathi. Yes, the next is the king of all the fruits. It's mango. Mango, which is also called as aam in Hindi and amba in Marathi. Um, you get different varieties of mango and none other than Indians enjoy all these different varieties of mango right from no, Kashmir to Kanyakumari, rather from Delhi to Kanyakumari. Yes, this fruit is the best of all the fruits, gooseberry or amla. You eat one amla or gooseberry a day and the diseases are far away from you. I don't say this. It's the Ayurvedic doctors who say this. Tulsi, Neem, Amla. A very best combination to improve your resistance, even in this COVID-19 situation. I have the gooseberry plant in my own house. And this season, any uh, August, September onwards, till almost January, February, these gooseberries keep falling. And every day, 7.30 when I'm in the class, you would be observing me with an amla in my mouth. That's a very best way to improve your resistance. Amla or the gooseberry. 
The next is fig. Fig tree. This is fig. This is not very common, only found in uh, Nandir, but Anjir, as it is called as figs. Kiwi, even these are not very common, but you could find in the Nanded markets, kiwis available. It's very, very tasty and eating kiwis will keep your skin glowing and keep you healthy. It's called as kiwi in Indian uh, language also. The next fruit that you could find is strawberry. Strawberry. This also is not an Indian fruit. As I said, all the fruits I have included in this slides uh, are mostly not Indian, so that you'll get acquainted to these uh, uh, fruits. Strawberries are lush, reddish and pinkish in color and very tasty in eating. Strawberry. Grapes. Who else knows more about the grapes other than us with Nasik so very close in our own state and is the king of producing the grapes. The green grapes, the purple grapes, the seed grapes and the seedless grapes. Wow. Grapes are all-time favorites for all of us. Grapes are called as Angur in Hindi and Drakshe in Marathi. The next fruit that I have included is called as Lichi. Lichis also are not very common uh, in Nanded at least, but lichis are very, very tasty. These lichis are found in coastal areas and uh, mountain areas and these are very tasty. The lichi drinks are so very, it has got a different flavor, it has got a different taste. You should taste it, lichi. Gova or guava. This is a very commonly occurring fruit. This is called as gova, amrud in Hindi and jamba in uh, Marathi. The next fruits that you could find over there are plums. Plums also are not very commonly found uh, in Nanded, but nowadays in the Nanded market you could find plums, um, which are sweetish and sourish and very has got a different taste to eat. Oranges and papayas are very common. Orange with, with Nagpur so very close. Um, oranges. Nagpur is very famous of very sweet uh, fruit it is and it has got um, a rich C vitamin which increases your resistance again. Papaya. There is a saying called an apple a day keeps the doctor away but then I feel in the Indian context eating papaya a day keeps the doctor away. It is the fruit which has almost all the vitamins and it keeps you healthy. Papaya. Pineapple. Pineapple is called as pineapple um, in English and ananas in Hindi and Marathi. Ananas also has got a very wonderful taste, especially eaten as it is or maybe made as a juice. Did you identify this fruit? This is a fruit. That I did not see before in my childhood at all. And nowadays, the Nanded markets are full of these fruits. It's called a dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit has got many vitamins and minerals. And doctors recommend the eating of dragon fruits for health. So try it first. All these fruits I have taken from. Uh, these websites, free images and free pics. I have left away wantedly a number of uh, fruits that are very, very common in Nanande, like watermelon or um, pomegranate or custard apple or jackfruit or jamun and sapota, lemon. Now, I want you to mention these. Um, identify the pictures of them. Know their names in English, Marathi as well as in Hindi. I would be telling this as your assignment. I hope you had enjoyed this video uh, of introducing you to plants, fruits, as well as flowers. Though very known, though very old, the moment you see these flowers and fruits, oh, it's a feast to your eyes. And it's a feast to your tongue as well because you can feel the taste of them. It's a feast to your nose as well because you can feel the fragrance of the flowers and fruits in your nose. 
We'll keep enjoying the flowers and fruits. Eat the uh, fruits appropriately in order to keep you healthy. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you very much.